Right. So what went through your head when you heard what happened this weekend? I mean, it's tragic. I, I, mean, I, I immediately think about the, the, the victims and the family and the, I mean, it's so unnecessary because, I mean, people are driving and they're, they, they have this flash of anger. It's not like it's taking them an extra two or three seconds, you know, and it's just it's so unnecessary is what, you know, kind of what I think about. Do you think it's a problem on the rise in Utah right now? Or? It sure seems like it is. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if it's like Shark Week where <laughs> like it's just all this media attention or if it's on the rise, but it feels to me like it's on the rise. I think um, I, for whatever reason, I think people are more kind of on the edge. I don't know if that's politics or if it's COVID or if it's uh, medication. I don't know what it is, but it seems like a lot of people just have lost their patience for, for everything. It's probably well, a hard, yeah. That's oh. a question. <clears throat> yeah, no problem. Um, do you think it's on the rise right now in Utah? It sure feels like it is, yeah. Um, do you, and it's probably a hard thing to legislate, dealing with anger. How do you legislate anger on the road? Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to be judged by their very wor worst moment, but, but also, you know, decisions and actions have consequences, and that's where the laws come into play. And it sounds like from some of our past stories, it, there's not a lot of data to look at if it's on the rise or categorize road rage as an incident. Yeah, I think that we tend to um, log traffic accidents and tickets and things like that, but um, we, we don't always, I don't think we're, we're properly tracking the motivation behind those tickets and those accidents. Okay, I was just going to ask, do you think road rage incidents have been a priority in the Utah legislature? I, I don't know that they've been a top priority. I mean, we tend, tend, tend to focus on, you know, clean air and education funding and transportation funding and um, that, but you know, it's it certainly, I don't think it's been completely neglected either, but may, maybe it, it needs to move up on our list of priorities. And I was just going to ask, do you think it should be a priority? Coming yeah, I or? think it absolutely should be a priority. What would you like to see changed? Well, I want to make sure that our laws are incentivizing people to do the right thing and that the punishment for bad behavior is appropriate compared to, you know, the other crimes that are being committed out there. What is the punishment for road rage incidents right now? I think now? It, 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 it depends on how it's charged. I think the prosecutors have a lot of discretion. So, I mean, if somebody dies, it could be homicide. It could be negligent homicide. Um, it, it could be disorderly conduct. So I think there's a wide range of misdemeanors and even felonies, depending on exactly what happens. Okay, gotcha. Um, do you think there needs to be a law passed to make it a harsher penalty or... Well, I, I, I think that the law needs to be severe enough that people think twice before they do something stupid. I also think other people react in, in, in a split second to someone cutting them off and then something, because they're going 80 miles an hour, it may spin out of control so quickly that they don't even have time to really um, you know, um, take appropriate action. And so I think we have to balance all that together because again, yeah. we're all human beings, we're all going to make mistakes, but some mistakes you know, unfortunately cost people their lives, including innocent people, so. Do you think the life's lost this weekend can be a catalyst for change, or? Uh, absolutely, because when you see two, two people that had nothing to do with the road rage incident, you know, both taken down in their prime of their lives, that, that gets my attention, and I think it, it'll get other legislators' attention as well. For sure. Um, what would you like to see happen next legislative session, anything, or? Well, I'd like to see a healthy discussion. I mean, mm -hmm. I. What, what is not the best way of making policy is knee-jerk reactions to one or two anecdotal experiences. But I think when, when, when it feels like these incidents are on the rise and you just had two completely innocent people you know, take and take, you know, lose their lives over this, I think it's worthy of discussion. And, and we, we mm -hmm. gotta make sure that, we, that, that our laws are appropriately aligned with what's happening out there on the roads. And I know that family wants to talk to you. I know you've been talking with them this Yeah, they've reached out. We're going to be meeting soon. A meeting. Okay, just to talk about what yeah, you're moving and, forward. Um, yeah, yeah, and you know, I think that uh, a lot of people, when they lose, a, you know, when they feel victimized, they, they want to reach out to someone, and I, I want to lend that, lend, uh, that listening ear. And if, it, if there is changes that are needed in our law, I'd like to you know, be at the forefront of making those changes. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm going to listen and then, and then, and then you know, do some more study. Awesome. Um, anything you want to add or say? Or well, I, I just I hope everybody will you know maybe take a moment that sees a story and, and maybe slow down a little bit, be more careful, and be more deliberative. You know, yes, there's going to be someone that's going to want to merge into your lane or that's going to cut you off. You don't always have to react to that. That's true because it could 
it might not seem like a big deal, but it yeah, could. Yeah, and it can spin out of control quicker than, than, than a snap, so. Yeah, and it's probably a hard thing to figure out how do you stop that from happening, because it's just emotions. It's not a premeditated thing or anything. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely.